you know, the opening's really good too. But since we're recording, we won't get into that. Oh, you know what? Before we get started proper, I was just gonna tell you. I did ask Adam. I was like, I was like, what do you think of Blade Runner's theatrical cut? And he was like, eh, it's fine. Final Cut's much better, more streamlined. He was like, eh, he was like, the voiceover sucked. Uh, uh, the voiceover sounded like shit and the ending sucked. I was like, that's what Josh said. He said, he said, I once read an article where they described it as, it sounds like they put a gun to Harrison Ford's head and made him record the voiceover. It's like, oh, you know, this shit happened and it was fucking crazy, you know. Yeah. Okay. Let's double check and make sure we can be heard real quick. Real quick. Jeez. Oh, um, James also mentioned. Man, this custom loadout is not very good. Uh, I should tweak that later. Shoot. Um, oh, no, sorry. Uh, I was, uh, James mentioned that he hadn't been, uh, he hadn't been podcast, he hadn't podcasted in a long time. And he was like, dang, like, I, I'm like, I really want to podcast him. I told him about, like, like, Josh and I were talking about something neat for, um, you know, uh, 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 for E3, and I'll talk to him about it, see if you can get included. Yeah. He said, he, he said, let me know your plans. I want, uh, I'll try to make time for it. Uh, it didn't, it usually comes up by now. The video. Oh no! Um. Oh, yeah, normally the video comes up by now. On the YouTubes. And I wanted to make sure that we could be heard. Oh yeah? Right. Damn. I got I I should I should really rent that game because it sounds like a lot of fun. that case oh no wait oh shoot you gotta change it because it won't be able to you won't be able to hear you nicole uh, doesn't have uh, nicole doesn't have her thing set because i always gotta edit around her if she joins us in destiny so right now there's one viewer and he's like well, who's he talking to So now, like the first like five to uh, five to ten minutes is just me talking to nobody. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, cha I changed it. Let me double check it again. Just give me give me some words. Words. I'm speaking words. 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 Right now. Words, words, words. Words, words. I want this one. Um. Oh, and go live. Okay. All right. Uh. But you know what I did do? I I got a an awesome like overhead kill. So that'll be. Nice. Yeah, uh, to see at least. Um. Okay. So. That's pretty awesome. Welcome to the conversation list. If you've never seen the conversations before then it's not exactly about what you're what you're seeing it's more about what you're hearing but it is nice to see uh, see what's going on what on you screen. see is not what you get i love this game so much um okay i want to talk about something i'm matt this is josh before i get too far ahead oh shit um oh no oh no um I wanted to talk about something we didn't get to get to stop like this. do this last week. Uh, Thank you. We were busy. You had company coming over, and I uh, was going out of town. So, uh, but there was something that was really bothering me. It's kind of oh shit. It's uh, it's kind of irrelevant now, but I, I, I was fired up last week, and I still kind of want to talk about it, because it's an ongoing problem. Um, okay. And I guess it makes sense, because because I'm playing Uncharted right now, and it's about Uncharted, and there's no spoilers. It's just about IGN's review. Well, we talked about this when we when I was playing The Division. This was in, actually in the last episode, I think, that I was playing The Division. Um, and we were talking about how, like, sometimes people get defensive about reviews. And man, with people themselves, but people. Yeah, yeah, other people. But man, were people defensive about Uncharted 4's review in progress on IGN? Because uh, they uh, they started scoring reviews in progress, and so it was basically like, like, well, if we had to score it now, it would be an 8.8. .8. I was like eight point eight. I was like eight point eight is a good score. That's a great score. It's a great score, but people were very uh, were really up in arms. It's not a ten. Greg would have given it a ten. And I was like, well, I mean, Greg's not working at IGN anymore. And people like keep. And people were like getting up in arms, and it was. It was like I was like, first of all, it's. It's an 8.8. .8. They're like, oh, but they're focusing on the wrong 8. They're like, it's an 8. And I'm like, it's an 8.8. .8. It's almost a 9. Like, I'm sorry. And, 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 like, to their credit, like, it did get bumped up to a 9 for the final review. Like, like it was a review in po uh, progress. It wasn't done. Right. So, but, what was even worse was, of course, I don't that I don't everybody was being worse because... It was uh, it was a woman that reviewed it, and this is an ongoing problem that frustrates me. What does what she know? And there were there were three different types of comments that I wanted to address that I noticed were happening. Oh shit! Sure. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I can't help but be like, oh shit, no. <laughs> He, you really get into this one, uh, this multiplayer. <laughs> but uh, there are three types of comments that I wanted to address. I want to look them up real quick because I, I mentioned them to a friend. But I know one of them was like, "You seem like the type of person that doesn't like games. People like you shouldn't like games." I was like, "She gave it an 8.8. .8. Like obviously she liked it." 
Yeah. And then there was an there was another one that was like, if I wanted a feminazi review, I would I would just watch Fe uh, feminist frequency with Anita Sarkeesian, and I was like, I don't think you understand what a feminist what a feminist is because nowhere in that review was there a feminist agenda. Like the worst also, thing that where is this feminist agenda because I cannot find it. <laughs> like I was like I like I looked the worst thing that she said in there was the pacing's a little off. It's it's very quick in the first two acts and then the third act kinda of slows it down. And, right. like, and and having completed Uncharted Four, that's true. I I still was like really into it because Without that's spoiling, a, without spoiling valid. anything, without spoiling anything, it gets a little more into the history of what you're searching for, and that was actually really fascinating, um, to me. But uh, people are also forgetting that like, it's a review, it's an opinion, it's one person's opinion. It's not even the whole uh, the whole site's opinion. Like there are probably other people that work at IGN that are like, I thought it was a ten, but you know, she was uh, she was tasked to write the review, so. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, stop you from wanting it to, uh, from thinking it's a ten. But I'm I'm of the opinion that um, review scores in general are really stupid. And if I, I agree. have a world where there were no scores on things, I think I would prefer that world because I agree. Um, like, <laughs> the number means literally nothing. Colin, yeah, Colin Moriarty says the same thing. He says review scores are fucking stupid uh, because nobody reads the review. They just they just scroll down and yeah, look at the number, and that don't. some people do. Most they just scroll don't. down, look at the number, and be like, 8.8? .8, what the 8.8 .8 for Uncharted? Fuck you!" Yeah. The last That's why one. I tend to like video discussions about yeah. games because they actually get into yeah. it more. Um, and. They, for the most part, don't put a score on stuff. And, yeah. Uh, I'm quite efficient. The last, the last comment. I think if I was a woman, I would be way more pissed off at the first two. And I am pissed off, because that's a recurring problem, and it frustrates me. It shouldn't be. But... Right. But... I was literally infuriated by the last type of comment when someone was like and because it just showed how ignorant we are as gamers when he goes 8.8 is fine but remember this for future reference and future reviews i was like why so that you can so that you can cross reference it with a game that's vastly different yeah, exactly. If, uh, like, how long have we been fucking reviewing games that, like, people don't understand how reviews work? That's it. I know. Like, reviews are supposed to be a singular... I, 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 I argued this with a, with a guy that uh, was, like, comparing superhero movie reviews uh, for Batman v Superman a while back. I was like, look, you have to look at a review as a singular experience because it, it's not it, it's an unfair advantage. Like, how long have we been reviewing movies and how long have we been reviewing games? Like, they're all different. That's why you, uh, that's why Greg is uh, and Greg Miller has the best description of a review, which is like, you know, you start from ten and, and you you try to figure out what exactly is this game or movie or what have you. Uh, and what is it trying to be, and did it achieve that, and you start at 10 and you chip away with the stuff that, like, you're like, oh, that that thing didn't land, or like, oh, the pacing was kind of off, or that kind of thing. Oh, no! <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> you got me with a charge strike. I, I just, like, when I was doing reviews, I just kind of knew. I was like, this is kind of where I'm falling in. But, like, my eight and your eight are totally different. Exactly. And just like, and just like my, with everybody, with everybody, like, like fucking, s fucking. Uh, uh, my they think it's a ten, but like it was six, a nine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, 
Because, like, when, I, when we were talking to Kyle yesterday and he was like, oh, how do you feel about Doom so far? I was like, I'm really liking it. I would give it, like, maybe a 7. Like, that yeah. sounds awful. It sounds like I hate it, but I don't. I really you like don't. it. You actually really it's like just, it. You enjoy it a lot. Yeah, it's just like and that's the clear. multiplayer is... It's clear when you boring. listen to somebody talk... Uh, it's, it's clear when you, when you listen to you talk about it that you clearly like it. But yeah. it's just the same as, like... People don't read the fucking. Uh, people don't actually. Oh shit! People don't actually read the review. They just scroll down and look at the score. But I also know that like a game like Doom is definitely not for everyone. Um, if I had to be honest, I don't see how it, it would appeal to like a woman at all. Like mm -hmm. just. It's like, it's like they took testosterone and like somehow crammed it down. And I mean, it, like it doesn't, it doesn't mean a, a woman couldn't enjoy, yeah, it doesn't mean a woman couldn't no, no, enjoy I'm it, saying that. but it's, it, it does kind of present itself very much as a man's, a uh, man's man's game, you know? Yeah, it's very like aggressive and in your face and violent and in your face and dude bro kind of thing. And like you, there's no you know, gender picking or anything. You just go in the game and it's like, you're a buff white dude. Put on this armor. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's it. I mean, it's, I enjoy it because I, I think it's fun and I really like the franchise. Yeah, but, but like, I, I was... See how that would be different for somebody else. Like, I was legitimately infuriated. I was like, we've been reviewing games for so, uh, so long, you want to use the same barometer and like, like measure games from uh, all throughout history you want to be like so let me ask you something you said halo 6 was a pro oh, was a 7.5 but madden 2001 was a uh was an 8 so you're saying madden 2001 was better than halo 6 like no that's not what they're saying <laughs> at all yeah, but that's like a snapshot in time you know? yeah. there are games now that i'm like oh this is Oh man, uh, he kicked me right in the ass. You know, this was great back then, but it's awful now. I mean, there are games that I feel that way about. Like, yeah. Like Vector Man. I thought Vector Man was the coolest fucking thing that ever existed when I, I remember was a kid, Vector and Man. Now I'm like, oh, this game sucks. <laughs> it does suck. <laughs> yeah. I play. It's I play a little bit because they have like the. Shitty game that everyone liked at the time. They have the. Uh, <laughs> they have it on the that Sonic Genesis collection. Remember that? Yeah. I platinum that. They have uh, uh, like most of the most of the trophies are like just play the game for a little while and you'll and do this tiny little thing. And you know, the the hardest trophy is like beating Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. And even that is just like it's just time consuming. But uh, I was like, how how do you how do you do that? How, this is fucking ridiculous. And then, you know, of course, yeah. it got changed to a 9, and then different kinds of commenters are out there, so, uh, just like, I, uh, th like, the opposite fucking happened. People came out and were like, I don't get Uncharted. I still don't get Uncharted. It's not that good. I don't get it. And it's like, like, nobody could yeah, be well, fucking yeah, happy. Now that, now that it's four games deep, like, people are like, eh, it's overrated. That's what happens to everything. It's like, you know what, man? You but need I was to, like get over yourself. Yeah, I was telling a friend. I was like, no good reviewer is sitting there thinking, well, I liked Uncharted Four, but I didn't like it as much as Bioshock Infinite, and that got a nine. So eight point yeah, exactly. eight. No good reviewer is doing that. And if a, and if a reviewer is doing that, they're not a good reviewer. They're a terrible reviewer. Yeah. So well, it's because they're trying to find some kind of objective, tr like score, you know, in there, and it's like it's not, going it, out. it's not in there. You can definitively say sometimes, like, if, if the, Fail. like if it's really obvious that they're, they're the quality is so vastly different. Like if you were to compare like Super Mario Brothers to ET on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, you'd say that one is basically objectively better. Right. But if you were gonna say like, is Mario One or Mario Three better? 
It's like they're so close in quality, it's almost like you can't compare them, and it's up to like personal opinion. Or even just like Which saying, Which is why uh, when you think about like a game like Uncharted 1 got a 9, but you're only getting Uncharted 4 and 8.8, it's like, well, like, it's different. I mean, they're, they're so it's close. It's a different game. Like, it, it's a different yeah. game. I mean, but that's not so like vastly different in its quality. Like, I think Uncharted 4 is a lot different. It is, it is very different. Are. It's very much of like, what did we learn from The Last of Us? Let's incorporate that into this game because there's a lot of that. Yeah, there and, is. Uh, but it's and, good uh, stuff. And it, it, yeah, it's not bad. It's, 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 not, it's, not like, it's not like it was the single wor uh, worst gaming experience of my entire life. Pain is just no. Such a I mean, this sort of feels bitch. like, to me... Game sort of feels like the end of an era and a look back for Naughty Dog, like just as a studio. Yeah, it does. Like, look how, like, that's partially why the crash scene is so cool. It's kind of oh, like, oh, 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 man, buddy, that's we're we're live. <laughs> we're live. That's a spoiler. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, sorry everybody. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry but, fellas. Uh, that one scene with that one game. <laughs> Hopefully you've at least made it to chapter four by now. Anyone yeah. that's watching. Um. But yeah, I think it's uh, if we don't see a Last of Us two, which I'm pretty sure is happening. Yeah. Probably. I always that, that that's actually a good topic to dive into as well, since we're on on the Naughty Dog track. Um, yeah. Last of Us two is probably happening. I I understand that they'd be insane not to like do another one the first one did so well i just hope that it's not i'm having some trouble i just hope that it's not uh joel and ellie i don't want joel and ellie i, hope that, I would hope for that as well because i like think that somebody else's story i think that it would like their the end of that game was perfect now yeah. that um, it said all it needed to say yeah that one thing. I mean, uh, if you, unless, I mean, if you count in uh, um, Left Behind, I think mm -hmm. it's basically said all it needed to say. But I, at least with those characters, and so it's like I would like if they're gonna make it again, like yeah, just make it in the same universe, but just have totally different characters and don't even mention like Joel and Ellie don't even like allude to it just tell me a completely different story in that universe but we'll see what right. they do I I'm sure that's probably what they'll do because there's not really any point to returning to those characters their stories feel almost like just really complete so yeah who knows I, yeah, I mean, so, some people will say, like, like oh, the ending, like, I don't know about that ending. It's like, I thought the ending was really good. I thought the ending was perfect. It fit. Well, my first reaction to the ending was kind of like, really? And then, but then after you kind of dwell on it a little, I, I was like, oh, you know what? That's really. I'm not bound. Like, <laughs> of fucking three race on it, you know? God damn it. Um. Yeah, I, uh. I, I think it, yeah I think it's it's true to the character, and it's the perfect place to leave off because it's true to both of them. Like, I mean, spoilers. This game's been out a long time, but so we can spoil that one. But you know, like like he, they say that they're gonna cut into her brain. He won't let her. Uh, he won't let them because he's grown to care for her. And uh. And he kid and he basically I kidnapped. Thought you said he was drunk. I was like, what? He basically <laughs> kidnaps her out of their out of their med uh, medical wing, and Let's make the most then lies to her and sa uh, and says, oh, they stopped looking for a cure. There were more people like you, but you know, it, did it didn't pan out. And then in the epilogue, she you know, she asks him, she's like, can you swear to me that like that was true? That what you said was true? And he says, I swear. Like there's like a a split second where he like pauses, he's like, eh, oh, like, should I tell her the truth? And then he just goes, I swear, that's the truth. And, like, you can see on her face that she doesn't fucking believe him, but Thanks. she accepts it. Who knows? 
but it's true to both of the characters. And yeah, I, I mean, really like that. Yeah, I mean, and it, 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 it fucking, like, cut to black it. credits, and that was, like, the perfect ending. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that'll be one of those ones that's, like, analyzed for years to come, because it's, like, a... <clears throat> It's just one of those endings. It's like the shining ending or something, or it's just like. I mean, we know what it means, but like, it's just kind of like, here's an example of like how you do a really meaningful ending. Yeah. Subtlety and stuff. Yeah, it was. Actually, uh, I'm really, really impressed good. with Uncharted 4 and like how much like little nuance and stuff there is even in just like the animations there's uh i don't i don't want to spoil anything but there are some really good you you've passed them but uh there's some really good lines that are references that like an uncharted fan would need to know that kind of means something um and i really like that but i will say this much because it's not in the game. That I was disappointed that they didn't make a reference to the cheesiest line of Drake's Fortune, the best line of Drake's Fortune, because they had plenty of opportunities. This is so not cool. No, not that. When he gets out of the water for the first time and says, Man, I am really wet. <laughs> How's that the cheesiest line? I, I always thought that this is so not cool was like super cringeworthy, even though I... I that's really well I mean game. just from a writing standpoint like that's pretty cringe really but from a technical standpoint it's that's basically naughty dog stroking their dicks and, be, and being like being like look at how he made him look so wet after after getting out of the water that hasn't really been done before has it that hasn't been done before I think no it was done in, like, excuses right was it I don't think it I don't think people really looked like they were wet. I think it just like it looked like water fell off of them, but it it didn't have like the it didn't make their clothes look wet or oh no uh, so but it was so I I I like that line even though it's super cringe really and I thought it would be perfect to like do a really tongue in cheek kind of like oh man that was. <laughs> like that that was a bad line, but we embrace it, you know. But uh you haven't gotten very far, I finished the game. I really liked it. Yeah. Um, I mean I'm really liking it so Oh yeah. I don't get this game. It's the single worst, worst gaming experience I've ever had. Single worst gaming experience I've ever had, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a little hyperbolic? <laughs> it, like, per, like, enunciates the word. I mean, if I had to think about the single I'm worst, like, what do you even I'm kind of, like, what do you mean by that? Right. Like, what do you look for in game? What, what, uh, people don't know what we're talking about. Oh, we, we both saw kind of funny, we both saw PS I Love You this week, their PlayStation podcast, and someone wrote in. Someone wrote in saying, uh, uh, saying that The Last of Us was the single worst game experience they'd ever had in their life. And, I, and the best thing that came out of that was when, oh, was when Colin enunciated. Don't you think that's a little hyperbolic? <laughs> And it is hyperbolic. Like, what are you looking for in games if you think that that's, if you think that's the, the worst? I don't understand. But, uh... I don't, yeah, I don't... I mean, I know people on, like, NeoGAF are like, oh, it's overrated. I'm like, okay, I mean, you can... I mean, I can see, I can see people say it's overrated, but... That was like one of those things where, like, when we talked about it the last time we we did a show, and I talked about like how I had a hard time taking the Polygon review seriously for Uncharted or, or the for The Last of Us because like it was like so drastically different. Like this was different, where it was like 
you know, GameSpot gave Uncharted 4 a 10, and they and, and IGN gave it an 8.8. .8. It's not that far off, but, like, they gave it, what, a 7 or a 7.5? And I was like, that's, like, that's everyone's giving it a 10, 9.5, 9.8, like that. And then, like, I read it, and, like, it mostly amounted to, like, it's kind of dark and, bl and, and bleak and very violent. I was like, that's what, I mean, minus the bleak stuff, like, the subject matter is bleak. The, but as far as violent, that's pretty much what games are, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless you play... You have like, to have some kind of conflict, unless it's like a puzzle game or some shit, you know? Yeah. I mean, even then, I th I would say even then, por like, Portal has a, a little bit of violence in it. Yeah. Not a lot, but it still has it. Yeah, there aren't that many games, like, even Disney Infinity, rest in peace, has violence. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh... Lionsgate closed, Avalanche closed. No more Disney Infinities. Not Lionsgate, Lion. Like oh, Lionhead. I'm sorry. Lionhead. Lionsgate. <laughs> I was like, that would be huge. <laughs> no more movies from them. <laughs> no more Lionsgate movies ever. It's like, well, shit, shit. I really thought they were doing this well. Ma this massive production studio just went down. Um. Yeah, no, Lionhead went down. Although Lionhead, uh, I read a little bit more of that. Eurogamer article I was talking to you about yesterday that's super at long ass when I've been reading it in pieces and it's pretty yeah. like enlightening. They were fucking up. They were just like hiring people for like no good reason. Mm -hmm. And you know what you're gonna like about me? I guess they had like three hundred people there at some point and there were people complaining that they just didn't have anything to do. Yeah, that's like, too much. Like, why are you doing that? Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Well you can't and I anymore. Didn't know this. Uh, Apparently the the founders of Media Molecule were like the co-creators of Fable and they were working at Lionhead and they got fed up with working there because they just weren't doing anything and then right. they decided to leave and then their first game was Little Big Planet. Yeah. Like that's cool. I didn't know that. It's <laughs> neat. Yeah. But I'm sad it makes like makes perfect sense too. I'm just I'm a little sad about like, Disney Infinity. I'm really sad about Disney. I mean, like, like I never bought it because it's way too much of an in investment. It is. Uh, it's really expensive. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, it's you know, to become a whole lot cheaper, but it's still <laughs> really expensive. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, at least I can, I can finish my collection, you know? But... Because we, we did do one Disney Infinity video. <gasps> but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I like. <laughs> no, oh, sorry, I I, I missed my grenade. <laughs> but uh, I uh, I would like to do more. I know Alan's got them all. Got uh, he he's neck yeah, neck he deep in figures. Version. He's yeah, neck deep he in figures, man. Um, I only have one and two. Um, yeah, he brought over no. three. Or, sorry, I have two and three. I don't have one. Um, but uh, I, mean, I would like to get it. I, I'm sure like the figure here is really cheap now. Um, yeah. There's only like one or two that are like quote unquote collectors' items because they were given out at conventions and stuff. But other than that, it's not that hard to find. Um, what the hell? The Disney Infinity figure. They over manufactured them. Like, crazy lines. Partially why they spent so much money. But, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting where all the other Toys to Life games go. Like, what's gonna happen? I mean, Skylanders, I think, is. Like, sales are diminishing year over year for that franchise, even though it was like a major hit. I think, um... What is it? Game. Like, it's Lego Dimensions. Like, no one really knows how that game is here, but that game is... You want to talk about expensive. I think it's even more expensive than... This minute is. Yeah. And, uh... And that game, yeah. I don't even know how well that game is doing. I see so many figures on the store shelves. Like, this can't be doing that. Well. There's I'm no way. Right. 
And then there's amiibos, which are doing I think Nintendo's not really smart with them. Granted, it's not a, it's not a game tied to amiibo. But, uh, like, they're still doing really well because Nintendo doesn't overproduce them. They only produce a certain amount. And then, if there's people complaining that there aren't enough, which has happened a lot, and then they produce more. Hi. Like when they produce a mess, now I think you can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because probably. they they can We hear you, there's not enough, we'll make more. You know? Yeah. You know? They're being really smart about it, and I actually like the idea that, like, I mean, I wish that there was an actual game that Nintendo made for the Wii U that, like. You know, it was a game oh, for amiibos, but you know, the way they work is just like, they don't no. they, they unlock stuff in other games, which is a cool idea, they just don't unlock anything like super compelling, I think. Right. It's just like, oh, do you want a uh, Donkey Kong outfit in Mario Kart, we'll put your Donkey Kong figure, like, on your, you know, on your Wii, you know, you know what I mean, it's like, there's nothing, there's nothing more compelling about this, but, I mean, the figures do look really cool, um, right. which is the other thing, I own a couple of them, but, uh, I don't know, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting where that whole business goes, because, and I'm really, really curious about it. Yeah, I heard Skylanders is probably not doing too well either. Um, it is, it is, uh, going down a lot, um, I don't know, I just can't. I think sales are diminishing, but, uh, I think it's still doing okay, like, it's still selling, it's just selling less and less every year. Yeah. But I don't, I don't even, I don't like the way Skylanders figures look. No, I don't like they it. They look ugly. That's why, partially why I really like the figures look amazing. Right. And I like having them like on my bookshelf and showing them off and stuff. They're really cool Danger, looking. Check. Treasure? Check. But, uh, yeah, I'm good. The other thing that sucks about Disney Infinity is like the two play sets that they're cut, the last yeah, play sets they're producing or that are coming out are like Finding Dory and one yeah, go, for the God. movie that's coming out. And, like, Gross. It's like, I don't want to play either. Yeah. You know? So, and I was really holding out hope for like an Indiana Jones set. That's what yeah, I really was, wanted. Especially since they just announced, oh, like they recently announced that like <laughs> they were gonna make another movie. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's sad times, and I'm sad because when I think about it, like, um, there's all those, like, levels that people have created online, and they shut the server down, and it's It's probably gonna happen really soon, it hasn't happened already. So, that sucks, too. But, yeah. Just reminds me of how uh, how sad it was when split second failed. Yeah, you know, this like Disney keeps doing this. Um, I mean, this is probably the last time it's ever going to happen because they announced that. I mean, part of the reason that they closed Avalanche was because they said they're just getting out of video games altogether, and they're just gonna license out their properties. So like right. EA they license them Star Wars and they license, you know, the other thing to somebody else. And... Hey, like that's... losing never feels good. That's like it, that is a whole just not gonna they're not they don't wanna make games anymore because every time they've ever tried to make a game, uh they either do decent or they just don't I mean excluding Disney Infinity, they just don't sell. Like, and, and obviously they sent Split Second out to die. Like, you and I both know that they released it the same day as uh, Red Dead Redemption and, Al and Alan Wake, and which Alan, Alan Wake, Wake also had no goddamn business releasing that day either. And Alan Wake's a great game. 
Alan right. Wake is a great game. But like when you go up against like. Oh hi. hi. That wasn't a very long <laughs> map, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay. You want some apple chips? She's like, Dad, I want my apple chips. Okay. Let me get you some apple chips. And some milk. I apple, can get you that. Apple chips are pretty freaking good. Did you um? No, you probably wouldn't have. But there is a review. I didn't even know the Washington Washington Post reviewed games, but they do. Um, I didn't know that either. <laughs> but they do. Poor rescue, uh, review. Like a, really, a real fucking joke of a review. What? What's Wait, your question? What did they review? You cut out. Sorry. They reviewed Uncharted 4 and they gave it a really low score. Or review, because I didn't see a score. Is that right? So they gave it like a like a really low score. Yeah, basically like uh. I trust okay. Let me get you apple chips and milk, okay? Yeah, like people were saying four. They gave it a four, but like I didn't, I didn't see an actual number. But it's a joke of a review. Like, this guy clearly didn't like Uncharted going in. And then he was cast <laughs> to write the review anyway. Right. So, you should give it a read sometime. It's fucking ri ridiculous. Let me get you Let me get you some milk. Hold on. <laughs> but I wonder, like, what his complaints were. Uncharted used to be a game for gamers, now it's just a game. <laughs> when you're done with those. Um, but yeah. I don't it's... know if you heard what I said. I didn't hear what you said. No, I just I, that I said, uh, I said, uh, Uncharted. I said, I didn't hear what I said. No, it, maybe it was like, Uncharted used to be a gamer's game, and now it's just a game. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. Halo 4 or whatever. That was ridiculous. That's the uh... dumbest review. Uh, we I mean, played... that wasn't a huge fan either, but... Yeah. Yeah, I heard that, uh... I heard that Halo 5. Well, it was Halo 5, right? That well, wasn't very good. Uh, the multiplayer good. is... No, the multiplayer is fantastic. It's, it's the top. best it's been since 2. Right. Um, because they actually changed it up and added all these cool things and game modes and stuff. Right. Uh, the campaign, I didn't, I did, I haven't even played no doubt, it. <laughs> I didn't play because I heard it was bad. Oh, that's too I bad. I only heard one person say. I would have liked to have seen how it was playing out. Hopefully, fix will be better. Make up for it. <sighs> yeah, may, I don't know. I, I just kind of don't You're over care it. about Halo lore, really. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, my multiplayer downloaded. <laughs> can I skip the fucking tutorial? Cause I don't know if you can. You might no, be able I can. to. Leave game. Oh, so we're about to get. We played. Well, you didn't get to play last night because your download no. was going was so long. But uh, we got to play with an old friend, Kyle. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some together. But we. Man, they they booted me when oh, and I missed out on one of the best things that was said when when we were talking about the election. And uh, he goes, I'm, he goes, I gotta vote for Dennis. Was it Dennis or Randy? He goes, I'm gonna vote for uh, for Randy Clay. <laughs> and what did you say? What did you say you were like, you were like, um, 
<laughs> like Randy Quaid secures a one percent of the popular vote. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, I want to do an aerial attack. Okay, well. But, uh, it was, uh, but yeah, <laughs> you're like, he secures 1% of the popular vote, and I was like, that's fucking impossible. I just realized I'm on Nicole's. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll wrap this up and then uh, we can do videos. I can add to my growing list of. It's Damn. What? Oh, well. Accept the fuck out of this. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> but um. Anyway, I think that's actually probably enough. We've talked for almost an hour. Don't, don't sweep this yeah, off the so. table, please. Um, so that was the, uh, this is the conversation list. Uh, I'm Matt and this is Josh. You can find us on, on, uh, YouTube at Cho Toasted Chimps. You can find us on PSN. I'm Matt, man. 310 and Josh is Pac Punk, P A C P U N K. I'm, oh shit. Uh,. But, uh, sorry, I, I was focusing on the C4. <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, now I'm forgetting where, oh, uh, where I, oh, uh, where I am. Oh, Twitter, Madman07, not Jawa Josh. Come play Uncharted multiplayer with us. We're gonna make some videos. You know, are you still down for, uh, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, Battlefront later tonight. Adam said he might join, and, and Elaine might be off of work. And then I told uh, uh, it, de it depends on what time. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice to get a big group. I don't know how long that's gonna go. I thought it'd be nice to get a to get a big group going. That'd uh -huh. be that'd make for a good video. But um, uh, all right. Yeah, so that see. was a conversationalist. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Putting all this.